Hey guys, it's Coffee. Eh? So I just want to talk to you a little bit about what math in Heads Up, Sit and Goes means to me in sort of a broad scheme. Um, because I think that, you know, there's a lot said in general about, you know, the mathy style of play, or he's a math player, or he plays by charts. There's a lot of different, you know, ways to interpret how math can be used in Heads Up, Sit and Goes. You know, at some broad level, you know, a lot of it is making charts, in a sense. When you want to look at open shoving, you want to have a chart of what your best choices are, especially when your strategy is very limited and, you know, your reads are limited. There's only so much you can do and you just want to make the best decision, since the best decision is the one that makes you the most money. In the end, you know, generality really helps because you can solve, use it to solve for your own situations and for your own uh, things that you're concerned about in your game. And, you know, everyone has different elements in their game that they can always improve on. And so, again, my math pack is designed to try to help you find more ways to improve on that and, and help focus your efforts in your study time. So I hope you'll enjoy it. I put a lot of time and dedication into it. I've tried to make every element as good as possible. I have found one typo already in one of the slides. I will mention that in the, in the post. You know, I hope you guys will enjoy it. And I would like some feedback. There's a free intro video. So if you're interested in a little bit more of the details of how the pack is structured, I, I really encourage you to watch the free intro video. And if you're a little curious about some of this push fault stuff, a little curious about, you know, what a strategy looks like, because I end up finding a Bayesian dynamic strategy for push fault. It's not just a chart. It incorporates reads. If you're interested a little bit more about that, I did put a teaser of that. It's also on HUSNG.com, so I encourage you guys to check that out. Uh, if you have any questions, email me, coffee at gmail.com. Disclaimer. I, Coffee do not endorse the drinking of coffee. I believe it to be unhealthy and highly addictive. If you are having troubles with a coffee addiction or are looking for safe alternatives, please feel free to contact my wife ASAP.